I'm gonna start it off slow. I'm gonna scope the scenery out. Watch out. <laughs> you don't know when I'm coming, <laughs> dummy. Look, now you running around looking all dumb. <laughs> Look, got you playing ring it on the rosy. I just seen, I thought you could be like my future wife. You looking for a husband? Because um, I will marry you. Let me answer that. Thank you. <laughs> I will marry you and I want you to have all my kids. You got like 10 kids. Okay. Yeah, well, like. I appreciate the kind words. Yeah. I do. That's good, man. God sent me here to give compliments. That's all. That's very sweet. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. But I And I appreciate your confidence in just coming up and. Alright, alright. If I ever try something like this, I know for a fact I'm going to jail. Um, I did work at a small gaming store back in 2006, 2007. I am disabled, uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's that. Now, the, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed, so there's some mental health issues that we bring to the table. And then physically, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, and no education. And when you Google my name, you might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. I should mention I'm also a felon. Okay. Uh, What's the nature of your felony? Aggravated assault. How old is it? About two years. This man hit rock bottom and he started digging in. Gentlemen, never work harder, work smarter, like this. Perfect. He needs some milk. She got a taste of the next generation. Do you, do you think you'll still be able to command the same love of man at 30 years old as you can command now at 22? I think I can command that man right now to wait for me when I'm 30. If I hold off getting, I, if I want to get with you when you're at your peak and I hold off on that, that quite literally puts you in the leadership role and I've effectively relinquished my leadership role. And so do you think I should just drop out of law school and get married and just get kids? In your Definitely. particular situation, what I am saying is that find a guy while you're in law school and be prepared, like, hey, you want to get your degree? I have no problem with women that want to chase a degree and get educated, whatever it may be. That's fine. But that comes second to your man and your family. That's okay. what I'm saying. I don't have a problem with women having a backup plan, but you need to also be realistic and understand that your success isn't going to make you more attractive to the man that you want. I don't think these girls understand that a 20-year-old woman who is submissive will always outshine a 30-year-old woman with an attitude. Jesus Christ on a motorbike. These girls are weird and delusional, just like this commercial. Sauce containers filled with honey, taggy barbecue, or salt and vinegar. Finger blasting is the best. Try one finger at a time. Yum. Two fingers. Mm, okay. And then, if everybody's cool with it, work up to three. No, two's good. For now. I'll take what I can get. Finger blasting is fun with friends. But if my friends aren't around, I'll just finger blast myself. What the fuck? Smacked his granddaughter across the face. I smacked my granddaughter across the goddamn face because she was swearing in public and mouthing off to her grandmother. Post it. Now that's what I call standing on business. He said, I'll parent you too. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The world needs more masculine men like him to put the reckless behavior of women in check because these cream gobblers are getting out of control. One time I went to dinner with this basketball team that was in the championship. One of the players took a really like good liking to me, I guess. He takes me back to his hotel room and we don't even have sex. He just makes me eat and then he comes, which is great. So he has to leave in the morning. He says, you can sleep over with me. That's awesome. That's great. I sleep over with him. And then um, he wakes up in the morning. He's going to leave. He's like, you can like check out as an intel later. Like You can use the hotel room, enjoy yourself, do room service, whatever you want. I go to the bathroom and I turn on the light. I look in the mirror. He gave me fucking pink eye. Like My eye was huge and red. <laughs> it was not good. And then the next day... They won the championship.
Now, who on the Denver Nuggets is walking around with dingleberries stuck between their butt cheeks and has a dirty bungle hole giving females pink eye? It has to be Michael Porter Jr. <laughs> now, my last two years of dating, I came to a realization that females would rather post on TikTok than go see a therapist. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. And this year, I have had chlamydia twice. So far. Happy wedding. Now, I am Asian, and I'm an absolute genius, and I have never made a mathematical error in my life. Now, if we take strong plus independent it equals stds now this is how this girl would react if someone told her that she's the problem no way not this time we created it not this time no not this time it's totally made up pure fiction it's fiction it's fiction we made it up we made this one up it's a made-up tale it's a total fabrication Call me a bitch again. Call me a bitch again. Yeah, you I did nothing wrong. I said shut up. No, you shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up and you're bitch. Goodbye. You shut the Goodbye. film me. I'm Instagram famous, you fucking bum. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Saying I'm Instagram famous while sitting in row 43 seat B is absolutely preposterous. Saying I'm Instagram famous is like saying I'm a manager at McDonald's. Like what? Sit down, nobody cares. Saying I'm Instagram famous is like being the smartest kid on a short bus. Can you guys imagine being married to that thing? So dad, I think she's the one. I'm gonna marry her. Tell me you're sorry. Wait, what? Why? Tell me you're sorry. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm not saying sorry. Hey, until you can say you're sorry for no reason at all, you're not ready work which to me is surprising in the same way that it's mm -hmm. surprising that her parents I mean I do think your role as a father is to protect yeah. your children mm -hmm. and I do think your role as a father is to keep your son out of prison and your daughter off the stripper pole so that you is can take that for like I do think men have a duty to try to raise their children so they don't end up becoming either criminals or workers if a daughter goes to her father and says I'm gonna become a worker or I'm a worker and he doesn't make any effort to discourage that yes. I think that is a failure to protect his daughter yes. from the world and that is a natural instinct that every father should have just out of curiosity why are they calling it sex workers instead of prostitute I mean just call how it is they are the cream of the crop of cream gobblers fathers this is why I highly advise you guys to please stay in your daughter's life make sure you get enough pussy and make sure that it's not just any loose pussy. Make sure it's clean pussy. Caprivian pussy. <laughs> this racist Karen starts harassing a lady in the store and even goes as far as pushing her. But guess what? The lady snaps back and gives Karen a good old slap in return. Are you the manager? Yes. Yeah. Excuse me, but you did say that you were going to be my country. What, what kind of, what kind of, what is that? Excuse me, this is what this whole world is. We're not from this country. We're from this country. Yeah. You don't tell. No, 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 no,
It could go both ways, but it's always been in society where the man has to be the man in the relationship. That's how I want him to be the bigger person, the one to bring everything to the table. If they don't see a guy that's 6'5", 6'2", basketball player, NBA, if you don't make over 5K or 12K or however much, it's to the standards. The standards are outwhelming and I blame social media. This YouTube channel called It's Complicated, this channel can be summed up with one single concept. Woman lacking accountability. You don't, you the, just give them money from like your bookings and stuff now. No, I don't have bookings. I work, I have. You got a job? Baby, I own businesses. I have a trucking company, Tokyo oh, Tony's Trucking. Saying. So that's why you don't. I have SHN Network. Uh -huh. I have a Tokyo Tony's Trucking. I have Prissy Tomboy Records. Period. I have Vivacious Hair and Lashes. I have VivaciousSkin.com. I have a lot going on. So, Miss Tokyo Tony, yes. have you ever worked as like a stripper or a sex worker? Yes, of course. Who haven't? I never been stripper. I can't dance to save my life. Can't you never worked work as a sex worker. Never worked as a sex worker. You never sold. <laughs> never sold the pussy. So you've been a slut all your life. I've been a slut. Wait, hold up. Let me let, let me give me that. the difference between a slut and a prostitute. To. What's the slut and a prostitute? Okay, the difference between the two is no more payment. That's why if somebody call you a hoe, be happy. Somebody call you a slut, you coming back with your hair pushed up and dirty feet. How you get dirty feet? You walking on dirt, bitch. You walking on dirty dick. <laughs> what? And unfortunately, all the businesses that she named never actually existed. And the fact that she sat there and lied the whole time is absolutely insane. And gentlemen, on that note, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Try to relax your anus.